a new day. Taiwan's plastic machinery goes live. Experience Taiwan's great innovations in manufacturing processes. Taiwan is one of the world's top three straw-making suppliers. We have growing expertise in biodegradable processes such as PHA and PLA. Taiwan's smart PET bottling can save 30% energy, while also offering the fastest PET linear blow molding solution. For Taiwan's blown film machines, high precision is the essential requirement. A simplified process can effectively reduce 20% labor and 15% energy cost. Circular production isn't just recycling. Taiwan's machinery is able to recreate the finest clean pellets. Moving toward Industry 4.0. Taiwan's IT strength takes us into the new generation. After-sales service will no longer be limited by distance. Emphasizing quality, providing custom services. These are the daily works of Taiwan's plastic industry. From design, to materials, to coating. Taiwan's persistent pursuit of excellence speaks for itself. Taiwan, providing various plastics and rubber equipment. Her industries never stop moving forward. Despite facing new challenges, Taiwan never compromises its core values and always finds new solutions. Searching for new plastic manufacturing solutions? Taiwan is your best partner. Taiwan Plastics Machinery, your best partner. Taiwan Excellence. Everyday Excellence. All right, yes, you made it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. On behalf of Taiwan Excellence, this is Andy Lee at your service as the MC for this webinar. This is Exceed Excellence with Taiwan Plastic Machines. And this is a webinar held in conjunction with Taipei Plus 2022, the biggest showcase of plastic machineries here in Taiwan, the biggest exhibition, I tell you. Okay, and today I'll be talking about four wonderful boots. These are iconic boots. They are Chum Power, FCS, Polystar, and Yoke. They'll be talking about their wonderful solutions, wonderful services, total solutions, total services, all for you, all for you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before we actually get started, I would like to first introduce our director of TAMI, T-A-M-I, Taiwan Association for Machinery Industry. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you director, Mr. Larry Wei. Friends from the media and industry, good day. I'm Larry Wei. On behalf of Taiwan Association of Machinery Industry, TAMI, I'm glad to take the invitation from Taiwan Excellence and have a remark here. 
as one of the world's top six plastic machine exporters. Taiwanese machinery industry is well known for its top quality, advanced technology, and the complete after sales service. For supporting sustainable development and the green world, our company keep developing new technology, not only to let machine have better production performance with less power and fuels, but also help customers get high quality products and eco-friendly materials and recycled materials. Smart control solutions have also been imported to ensure smooth production, reduce waste of material, power and fruits. Our insistence and efforts on ESG have gradually been recognized by global manufacturers and therefore we believe Taiwan can be the best partner for those who intend to create eco-friendly production lines. In the webinar, we have four plastic machines and accessories, brands Chen Pao, FCS, Polystar, and Yolk, which have won the Taiwan Excellence Award, the top honor of Taiwan made production in R&D design, quality, and innovation. I also invite you to visit Taipei Plus online by scanning the QR code on the screen, where you can gain a deeper understanding of our advanced plastic machines and components and how they can help you to reach your business goal. Last but not the least, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to you and all for joining our webinar today. I wish the even great success and the best of health and prosperous business to everyone. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Director Mr. Larry Wei. Now let's get started. Booth number one, Chum Power. You can't wait? I can't wait. Let's go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at Chum Power. This is Taiwan's largest PET blow molding machine brand. And their solution is the bottle molding solution, which uses recycled PET. We have right here, Tony. Tony, hi. Hi, Andy. Very nice to meet you. Same here, same here. Tony, now we yes. know everybody's talking about ESG, environmental, sustainability, and governance. And here in Taiwan, Taiwan's Environmental Protection Administration, Taiwan's EPA, I think you know that. They have a new mandate. Right. Packaging, we must use at least 25% recycled PET. How can you help our clients achieve this? Well, okay, thanks for asking. Uh, first of all, as you can see right here, our machines can use uh, PET resin, those recycled PET resin that's made out of 100% RPET, right you there. You call that PET resin? Right, a pallet, wow. a pallet, right. Pellet, so, pellet. so, yeah, so that's the raw material for, this, for these machines, actually. I see. So, first of all, that pallet is already a recycled material. Right. So if for a specific company who's looking at perhaps 20% to 30% mixture uh -huh. of the uh, our pet with the virgin material, they could just simply mix the percentage right. as they want. So right now, this machine is using 100% RPET. I see. So we, we already achieved that goal, we even surpassed it. Uh -huh. So our machine can help our customer to reach that target. So it's pretty much depend on what the percentage they're looking for. Okay, so you could do more than 25%? Of course, yes. PET recycling. Right. Okay. So And this is uh, something to show us? Okay. Um, before I go into that, then maybe I'll, perhaps I'll go through the machine first. Why not? Right. Let's do that. First of all, as I pointed out earlier, right, that machine starts with the raisin material. That's a PET raw material. pellets. Right, a pellet. It goes into a, a screw, a barrel, right. which will be heated, and be, it becomes a molten 
material. Ooh. Right? And once that... So pretty much it turns from a, a solid into a liquid phase. Right. Okay? So now, we melt the RPT solid, already. Solid, molten liquid phase. Right. It could go through an injection phase. So that the molten material is injected into a mold, and we end up making a preform first. Right. So that preform was made first, and then before it was fully cool, it was turned to another station and blow into a bottle. It becomes that. Because that, right, exactly. So basically what you can say is this machine turns a plastic pallet, right. our pad pallet, into preform and then blow into a finishing bottle. That would be the finished product. That would be the finished product coming out from the uh, from, from the machines. Wow. So we call this machine a, a single stage stretch blow body machine. Right. Right, because okay. you're doing this from preform to bottle in one shot. Okay. Right, so that's how that's this machine. And then what we did is we didn't stop the, we didn't stop over there, right? This is our pad, right? Continuation. Right. We we also add element of uh, industrial 4.0. Which is this? Okay, moving on to this screen, Industry right. 4.0. Right. So, so what the what basically what we would do is we will gather machine information and we put it on on the control center. So people in the control room they can sit down and they can know exactly what happened to the machines. Data from assembly line input into the into control, control room control right. center. Right. So. So the boss or the con or, or the operator, controller, they will know, operator. controller, operator. Thank you, Andy. Then we will know what's the output, the current output of the machine. How much bottle has been produced, and the cycle time of this machine. So pretty much, the processing. The recycle stage. time is eighteen point ninety eight seconds. The cycle time, right? Wow. That means under twenty seconds. Very you good. Are, you are making five bottle every twenty seconds. That's what that means. That's efficiency. Right, so that translates to uh, about just under a thousand bottles per hour. Okay. Okay, so also other information such as the servo motor torque value yep. and the amperage value can also show in here. And also the blowing pressure and the barrel temperature will be shown here. So what that tells us is to to melt our pet raisin, it takes 257 it takes, degrees exactly. Celsius. Right, to turn that into a liquid and make it into a bottle. That's pretty warm. Yeah, it's pretty hot actually. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, by the way, we put a, a camera system in there. In there. You see that's taking the measurement? Okay, it's, it's inspect the bottom area. Oh, it's measuring. Right, right. So take a picture, like as you see there. Okay. It's dropped it. This robotic uh, arm dropped it. That means right. it's passed. Right, right. So the data is actually showing here. You see the photo? So that... This is the data from that particular bottle that was dropped. Right, from there. So the, so the computer will, you know, look at the center, right. the circumference of the bottle, right. and then determine if the bottle is good or not. So, Quality control. Yeah, exactly. So that's a little bit of uh, 4.0. Okay. Integrated with our pad all together. All right. Shall we move on? Sure. Okay. Now, moving on, ladies and gentlemen, I want to ask Tony about the industry application of SS10 RPT flow molding machine. That's right. Let's go. Tell us about all these wonderful industry applications. Well, thank you, Andy. So, what this bottle is, is um, all this bottle is made from using this machine. That, yeah. So, right. that single stage machine is very suitable for this kind of application, mm -hmm. for cosmetic, mm -hmm. or for, yeah, right, daily use, lotions, mm -hmm. right, pharmaceuticals, or um, cleaning. So basically, the uh, single stage is designed specific for uh, high product value, but low production run. Right. So it's, it's flexible in that term. I've heard industry people referring to your company as the molding Magician. How did that come about? That's a good title. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, thanks for noticing. Uh, first of all, the reason why is because we jump power to design and the machining of the mold uh -huh. all in-house. So that's why I think that's where the term comes from. Magician. Right, because we can turn P40 
people's thoughts into a 3D product. Just like magic. That's why we're magicians. Okay, thank you so much, Tony. Thank you very much. This is Chum Power. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I need you to scan Chum Power's QR code to get in touch with them and to visit their work site. So, that said, let us move on to our next iconic booth, FCS. Let's go. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You see the brand? The brand is FCS. This is the leading Taiwan brand, a leading injection molding machine brand. And I have right here their sales manager, wonderful, tall, and handsome, Hank Wu. Hank, hello, how are you? Hi, nice to meet you, Andy. Same here. Tell us about your company. A brief introduction, please. Okay, okay. So FCS was founded in 1974. All right. So the size of our machines is from 30 tons to 4,000 tons. And, uh, large yeah, machines. Yeah, very large machines. And the main application is uh, packaging, automotive, uh, medical, and also the... Uh, many areas, yeah, many areas. Yeah, many, many areas. Okay. And uh, uh, we have uh, agents, 15 agents, all over 21 countries to give the service to our local customers. All over the world? Yeah, all US, over. EU, Asia? Yes, yes, correct. Okay. And also, apart from Taiwan, so we have a 30 branch office in China, Indonesia, Thailand, and also uh, India. Okay, yeah. yes. so you do a large business with many clients all over the world. Yes. Now, take us to your wonderful and big machine. It's called CTR? Yeah, yes, correct. So let's go. Yep. Yep. I follow you. Okay. All right, Hank, tell us about the CTR machine. Big machine. Yeah, yes. Uh, Andy, I'm very glad to introduce you our CT230R. Uh -huh. this, this is our fully electric machine. So the big advantage of the fully electric machine is the accuracy and also the low power consumption. Right. Yeah. So the variety of the product weight is less than 0.3 percent. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and also. That's very good. Yeah, yeah. And also the power consumption is 30 percent less. Saves electricity. Yeah, saves electricity. Okay. And also this is a. We call it a two-component molding process. Two components molding yeah. process. Yeah. So this is a two-step molding process. Tell us more. Yeah, it used to be two-step, but in these machines, we can set the two-step into one step. Ah. Yeah, yeah. So it Two-step becomes one step. Yeah. More correct. efficient. Correct. Saves time. Yes. Correct. Hundred percent correct. So you can see the rotary table just rotated. So you shoot the first one on the right side and then uh -huh. rotate it to the second second side. I see. Okay. okay. So it saves time, saves electricity, two step into one. Yes, correct. Now, I believe you have a machine that especially caters for circular economy. Tell us more. Okay, so let's go to the LM500. LM500. It sounds very big. Let's okay. take a look. Let's okay. go. Let's go. All right, we're at LM500. Yeah. Tell us about all these material, virgin, regrinds, and recycled pellets. Okay, and these so first. First, I would like to introduce our LOM 500. Okay. Okay. This is a uh, two platinum machines. We cooperate with uh, European institutions right. to develop this kind of machines. So it helps us to save the 30 percent footprints. So it can have a compact size, but the flexible clamping stroke. Right. Okay. Now these materials. Yeah. So this is the material our customer use. So this uh -huh. is the virgin material. So uh -huh. You can see it's very beautiful. And uh, most of them use the regrind. So, right. but this regrind did not conduct very well. So we suggest them to use this recycled pellet. Actually, if the plastic is recycled correctly, it can help our economy. It's like a of course, circular, of course, circular economy. Yes, correct. Okay. okay. Now, everybody likes circular economy. Everybody likes smart production. Everybody's doing industry 4.0. Tell us about your smart production. Okay, sure. Let's go. Okay, IMF 4.0, smart production, industry 4.0. Tell us all about it, Hank. Okay, so Andy, so at these shows, we are demonstrating three machines. Yeah, three machines. So we move the actual situations to these panels. So as you can see, there are three columns. Yes. Okay, 
S A E L M five hundred C T R. Yeah, it stands for the individual's production status. So imagine you are a top manager, but you are far away, maybe in in the United States, right. but you still can monitor all the situations. In the individual I see. machines, you could monitor it remotely. Yeah, remotely. From US, monitor a factory in Taiwan. Yes, of course. Wow. Yeah. So you can know about the actually production and also the OEE trend and also the progress trend. Everything you can know. Yeah. If I notice anything, Hank, what's the matter? I call you up at 2 a.m. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> okay. So next one. This gives you uh, more details about the uh, production schedule. Uh -huh. Like we set up the goal, 45 hours as our goal, our production goal. But you can see the green color means we achieve the goal, but the red color means we are behind the goal. Okay, so, so I call you up. Hank, yeah, what's the matter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kidding. Yeah, you can just by watching the this color. This is the goal, this is the target. Yeah, yeah. Green, achieve target, achieve target. This is, has some way to go. Yeah, yes, correct. Okay. Yeah, so this is our item. 4.0 induction. Right. Yeah. Yes. So this is the target, and they have achieved it. They have achieved it. They have achieved it. And this has some way to go. Yes. Oh, this is wonderful report. On time. Okay. Thank you so much, Hank. You're welcome. And wonderful report. Yeah, wonderful thank analysis. You very much. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is FCS. If you want to contact them, scan the QR code right there. Okay. And now, please follow Andy, because I'm going to take you to our next mm. icon booth. We call it Polystar. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, moving on, I have our next very iconic brand right here, Polystar. Very famous Taiwan plastic recycling machine brand. And I have here Chief Marketing Officer, Mr. David Lowe. David, how are you? Hi, nice to meet you. Same here. Yeah. David, please introduce to our viewers, our participants, your wonderful company, Polystar. Okay. I'm so excited. Yeah, so uh, Polystar, uh, we found in 1988. Uh, we are the, the, in, the, in the worldwide, we are the uh, leading company in the plastic recycling solutions. Yes. Uh, we aim to provide the recycling next simple, mm -hmm. this kind of core value to our the global customers right. to, and aim to provide uh, the high uh, automation and high intelligence solution to our global uh, the customers worldwide. What are your main applications, David? Okay, uh, for these machines, uh, it is a shredder integrated recycling machines. Uh, basically, it can be processed the like uh, solid rigid materials like uh, PP raffia, uh, PP woven socks, FIBC jumbo bag, uh, film mount roll, and uh, film scrap, this kind of the plastic waste, including the HDPE, LDPE, LDPE, and polypropylene. Uh, so with this kind of the impact and intelligence uh, recycling solutions, it can be enhanced the recycling efficiency right. and uh, with the energy saving. Uh, and to contribute the more value to the customers. Right, speaking of customers, I know you have a large client base all over the world. Tell us about your um, customer opportunities, your clients. Okay, uh, I think right now uh, we are the, the leading company of the recycling machine in the world. So uh, basically, uh, our the machine has been distributed more than 110 countries in the worldwide, including the like in the uh, U.S. Uh, in, in EU, in US and Japan and this kind of the uh, various kinds of the plastic industry. So it would be the uh, good opportunity to introduce uh, this kind of advanced solution for, for our global customer. Very advanced solution, very advanced indeed. Yeah. Now, can you share with us your um, core values of the company and the products and the services? Okay. The core values. Okay. So this machine is, uh, we utilize the equal energy savings, uh, feedings uh, technology to be able to stabilize the feeding control and efficiency uh, when the upon the, the customer, uh, when the uh, material feeding into the, our the recycling machine. And also we have the developed this kind of the patents 
uh, automatic pelletizing systems. And uh, these uh, systems, the pelletizing plate uh, can be uh, automatic adjust according to the die head pressure wow. of the pelletizing dies. So it is uh, with the fully automatic functions. And you have a patent. Yes, yes, uh, with the, the Taiwanese in, uh, innovative patents. And the third one, I think I would like to introduce about uh, this uh, advanced intelligence PLC control systems. Uh, with this uh, PLC control systems, we can uh, we embedded the cloud IP uh, monitors module can be have uh, remote installation and also with the travel on time troubleshooting mm -hmm. and the on time education to the customer. And it also the, with the, uh, like a data uh, with the data recordings and yes. also with the curve analysis. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it is uh, uh, we can achieve the smart manufacturing to meet with the industry 4.0 uh, criteria. Right, smart manufacturing industry yeah. 4.0. Yeah. Now, yeah. speaking of which, you provide for the customers sustainable development, and yeah. this all in all helps our planet Earth. Helps yes. our economy with a circular economy. Yeah. Plastic yeah. recycling. Yeah. Tell us more about how it helps your okay. products, your service, how it helps circular economy, okay. sustainable development. Okay. I think uh, because from the uh, uh, 2025, uh, the EU, the European yes, region, yes, has yes. regulated the uh, like environmental protection regulation mm. to be forced uh, all of the plastic producer uh, need to put about more than 30% mm -hmm. of the recycled pellets back to their production line. Right. So the circular economy uh, development has been the uh, like mainstream development in the world, in the, in the worldwide. So we believe that uh, we must transform the linear circular uh, economy to uh, like uh, to the circular economy. Right, from linear to circular. Yes. This is the trend. This is yeah. the way everyone has to go. Yeah, yeah. So it is also the uh, same for the we 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 have the take more res responsibility we should. to the we uh, should. green uh, to the green environmental protection and to the next generation. So it will be also related to the uh, like our ESG developments. ESG. Environmental, sustainability, and governance. Everybody's talking about that. So, yeah. David, let's talk more about ESG, what your company does for ESG. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's follow David. Yeah, Andy? Yes. Let me All give these you are the, for ESG? Yeah, let me give you an example. Yeah, this is the LDPE uh, Stretch Film West. Uh huh. Yeah, so uh, it can uh, put into our recycling machine. Right. Then it can uh, convert into the uh, this kind of high quality of okay. recycled pellets. Waste becomes recycled raw material. Exactly. And this kind of recycled pellets can be reused back to their production line and to create the high uh, value, a uh, dead value of the circular economy. Right. So, yeah. And these products are right over here. Yeah. Let's go for the this kind of the example. So this time, yeah, we cooperated with the FCS, the Taiwan uh, very famous injection moldings uh, machine manufacturers. So uh, basically, you can see uh, we use uh, the this kind of regrinds crush from the, their customers, and then they can using their injection molding machines and to produce, reproduce uh, this kind of the reproduction uh, products. Wonderful. Yeah, for example, this is 20% uh, uh, of the recycled material. 20%? And this is the 50% of the, uh, uh, with the recycled material. 50% recycled? Yeah, and this is the 100%, totally 100%. 100% recycled? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the, still the very solid and very strong. Yeah, can they feel the same? Yeah, yeah. You can see the virgin material uh, purchasing cost. Right. Yeah, and uh, create more value for the customer. Okay. David, thank you so much for introducing Polystar and their wonderful service and product to us. Scan the QR code to contact Polystar. Thank you so much. Thank you, David. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. Now, let's go on to our next wonderful icon booth, so please follow Andy. We're going to Yoke.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, coming to our last stop, this is Yoke. Wow, look at this. They're providing lifting solutions for heavy machines and large size mode. And we have right here a beautiful lady. This is Mandy Lau, our marketing executive Hi. of Yoke. Tell us about your company. Your company has 37 years of yeah. history yeah. and it is still growing on strong. Why is that? Um, our president, Stephen Hong, always reminds us that solving problem and creating the value for customers is always our top mission. And that's why we keep producing the safety components. And uh, also, we have manufacturer like Take for Safety. This Take for Safety has been pr produced since 2018. So you have a wonderful slogan which you really put into use, yeah. Tech for Safety. Tell yeah. us more about Tech for Safety. You know, see, let's look at this. This is our first product that put into the digital chip in. And this is our digital lifting product. Our lifting digital living product not only can rotate and turn 360 degree, and also it can be do done like pre-use check before doing a lift. Okay, before yeah. the lift, you have yeah. to do pre-use check. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is our mission in this trade show also, right? Yep. So if we go to this app, it's called Reconnect app, and we can sign in as a guest, and let's just sign as a guest and scan, and then let's tap our, you know, this is the mobile, and this is iPhone, so the NFC is on the side of the iPhone. So let's touch the, the wow, NFC voila. to the, the to the lifting point, and then we can see like the manufacturer mm -hmm. brand here mm -hmm. and the serial number and the item number. Also, how's the working note of that? Also, we have the manufacturing date. We have the certification to each product. So if we just tap into here, we will see all the testing report here. Wow. Also, we have the instruction guide. So we can see the like uh, safe instructions here in every language. So if we go back to here, we can also do a pre-use check. Like many of our customers, they come to us and they will ask, hey, we want to do a pre-use check of the lifting point, but what's the questionnaire? What's the, what's the questions we should do before doing that? Then we will know that if we go to pre-use check, we have many questions. And these questions are done like accordingly to the, the EN standard. So we will have like a 13 questions you can do accordingly. Then you will know, okay, so the lifting product, the lifting point status is right. good. Yeah. And they come with each in different languages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have like uh, more than 40 languages in this app. Okay. Yeah. So your products gets to be used all over the world. Now, yeah. does all of the lifting points, do they come with blue chips? Uh, yeah, for the moment, all our lifting points, they all come, they are all equipped with the, we call this digital chip, and they are set as a standard product for now. Yeah, and apart from the blue chips, we also have like this. This is called Supratech, it's the other, you know, the other kind of the digital chip we yeah. can use. And right. they, they can be like bind with the machinery or the, the, the equipment you want to manage. Right. Yeah, it's like a ident uh, digital identification. Ah, yeah. digital identification. Yeah. Now, you have so many wonderful products. Um, some of your lifting products, they have won Taiwan Excellence 2021. Yeah. Tell us about them. Yeah, okay, so this... Ooh, is, very heavy, do you need yeah. help? No, no yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> so this is the awarded the, um, Taiwan, it's, it's in 2020, right? So this... this Anyways, it's got Taiwan Excellence Award. Yeah, this is our grade 100 iGrip Safe Locking Hook. And uh, it features by this wider, you know, wider hand grip space and it allows the safety gloves to allocate into this. So it's easy and lightweight and it can be just take by one hand. You to, are to use a very that. strong lady. <laughs> yeah.
apart from so we can see all the lifting equipment mm -hmm. in the in the factory and this is just one of that and this can also be used on the uh, like plastic injection machine okay all right ladies and gentlemen if you need to contact yoke all you have to do is scan the qr code thank you so much thank you Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that about wraps up our webinar. Thank you so much for your participation, and I hope you've gained a better understanding of our Taiwan's plastic processing solutions. Now, for Taipei Plus 2022, which is from September the 27th until October the 27th, an online exhibition, please scan the QR code. And we have 300 companies with wonderful products and solutions. Now, I also need your feedback. So, scan the QR code for the questionnaire, and please give us your feedback. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. This is Andy Lee, and we'll see you next time.